In this lesson, we will build and train our model, and we will split the data into training data and testing data. What do I mean by that? A typical procedure process of training the model in machine learning projects is this. You have the set of data, we have 100 rows, but for example, let's take that we have five rows, and you divide that into the data that we do have, which is clear, which salary is for which years of experience, and we put that into the model for training. From those numbers, the model is trained and tries to calculate all the variables, understand the algorithm and the logic. And we allocate some part of that data set as testing data. Usually it is 20%, sometimes it is 30% depending on the situation, which means that we hide the result of salary in that data set and then try to predict that number based on the training date. So that's the theoretical explanation. Now let's get to actually splitting the data. For that, we will use another library called Scikit-Learn, which is really popular library for machine learning projects. And in fact, the model will be also from that library. So we need to import that library here. And this is another thing about importing libraries in Python. You can do that in line here in the cell, not necessarily on top. If you do know which libraries you will use, of course, it's beneficial to list them on top and then forget about them. But if you know you need it right away here, sometimes it's more convenient to write import here and not on top. Also, another syntax of importing, we can import from library module, we can import a specific function to save the memory from loading all the library. And the syntax is this, from library, which is SK learn. And behind the scenes on my machine beforehand, I have installed that library with pip install scikit-learn. And in this case, actually, these are two names. So before it used to be SK learn, but for installation, we need to use scikit-learn. So from that sklearn, we need model selection. We import one function, which is train, test, split. So this is the library or the module. Sometimes those two words are used interchangeably as synonyms. So this is submodule, and this is the feature, the function of that model selection. We execute successfully but no visual results yet. And this is where we need to split the date. From two variables, x and y, we will have x train x test, then y train y test, then we call that train test split function with some parameter. The first parameters are what are we splitting, x and y, and then a few things we can specify or leave as default. So test size, which percentage do we allocate to testing? By default, it's 25%, but quite often in ML project, I see people doing 0 2, which is 20%. And then also there's a parameter called random state equals zero. I will explain it a bit later what that does, but in short, it disables the randomness of the split. So you have stable set of data. After we execute that, it doesn't show anything visual. So let's try to show some data. X train, for example, what would it show? It shows the array of arrays, but how long, how big? For that, we can use xtrain.shape, which will show us 80 rows and one column. Similarly, if we do x test shape, of course, the cell of Jupyter Notebook would execute only the last visible result. So x test is 20 and 1. Similarly, y train, let's comment that out. Y train is 80 records, and y test should be. 20 records because we have 80 20 split with 20 percent for test size so now we have data split into training and testing and we can actually build the model object from the same scikit learn library and pass the train data for training and predict the results of testing data and measure the accuracy whether the model was right or how much off i also promised you to explain the random state parameter. But to be honest, it would be hard to grasp right away until you actually see model in action. So let's postpone that to a later lesson. We will experiment with and without random state parameter a bit later. Now let's build our model in the next lesson.